So guys, in this video, we are going to solve a different type of question based on Newton's forward interpolation formula. Okay. So basically, the question it says from the following data, the question will be appearing on the screen. Okay. To estimate the number of persons earning weekly wages, so between sixty and seventy rupees. So you need to find the wages of the number of people you have to find. Okay, between. 60 and 70 rupees you are getting wages between 60 and 70 rupees okay so wage we can take it as x and number of person we can take it as y so wages in rupees below 40 okay so we can form the table okay x value now here you know you consider that below 40 is given then 40 to 50 60 to 80, 80 to 100, 100 to 120. Here the intervals are given. So we have to take x as below 40. Next, 40 to 60, we can take it as below 60. Okay, the upper value, upper limit. Then 60 to 80, we can take it as below. 80 then 80 to 100 below 100 then 100 to 120 below 120 the upper limits basically the upper limits now what about the y values y will be number of persons that is below 40 it is already given that is 250 now below 60 it is given interval between 40 to 60 it's 120 so basically below 60 will be 1 250 plus 120 250 plus 120 why we are adding 250 basically it is given 60 sorry 40 to 60 and below 40 is also given value okay now we need to find below 60 so below 60 this also will be considered Below 60 means below 40 also will be considered. So you need to add the this value also. So 250 plus 40 to 60, how many are there? 120. So it is nothing but what? 370. Now below 80, what you have to do? Below it is nothing but what? Below 60 we know. That is 60 to 80. Okay. Below 60 we know it is 370. 60 to 80 is how much? 100. So we need to add 370 plus 100. So basically, basically it is 720. Now below 100, 80 to 100. Below 80 we know how much is that? 470. So 80 to 100 it is given as 70. So 470 plus 70 it is 5 okay now the below 120 540 plus 100 to 120 how many 450 are there so it is 540 plus 50 that is 590 so basically in order to understand this we can do one thing below 40 it is, we know that is 250 then take that 250 add it to 40 to 60 interval that is 250 plus 120 then take that answer add it to the interval of water 60 to 80 okay then take that answer add it to interval of 80 to 100 how many other 70 add it to that take that answer again do the same for this time so basically this is how we have to form the y table okay now moving on to the delta y. delta y will be the Difference of this two 370 minus 250 120 470 minus 370 100 or 540 minus 470 70 590 minus this thing 540 50 okay now basically this when you observe this this is nothing but the y in the y values you can observe this 40 to 60 this is the value 
60 to 80 interval 100 is the value 80 to 170 100 100 to 120 this thing so basically starts from here you can verify it also okay so it is basically the y values starting from here two three four five this okay so in this manual also you can verify it now moving on to the next thing that is delta square y delta square y will be nothing but 100 minus 120 minus 20 70 minus this thing minus 30 50 minus 70 minus 20 20. now again delta cube y minus 30 minus of minus 20 it is minus 10 minus 20 minus of minus 30 it will be 10 right so basically then last one that will be delta power 4 y so 10 minus minus of this thing so will be 20 okay so we need to find or we need to just substitute to all this diagonal elements okay so moving on to find the value of p we need to find the value of p so p is nothing but x minus x naught by x x so we need to find the wages between 60 and 70 rupees that means how many people are earning this much of rupees okay between 60 to 70 so 60 we know below 60 we know or we can say that 60 value we know below 60 how many people are there okay so when you subtract below 60 how many people are there okay from where where you have to subtract you have to subtract 70 below 70 minus below 60 below 70 minus when you do below 60 you will get to how many number of persons whose weekly wages is between 60 to 70 okay so basic idea is below 70 we know we have to find below 70 below 60 we know that is something about 370 then we have to subtract it from below 70 so we need to find the value of below 70 so we can consider x as what 70 okay so x is 70 so 70 minus x naught is the first value of this that will be 40 width is nothing but the gap between the intervals that is 20 so answer is so 40 30 by this thing 1.5 so p we got the value of p now you have to just substitute the value of what in the formulas okay so by substituting so the formula is y is equal to y naught plus p into delta y naught plus p into p minus 1 by 2 factorial into delta square y naught plus p into p minus 1 into p minus 2 p factorial into delta cube y naught do i have to write the fourth term also yes since i have the delta power 4 y naught i have to write that one also it is p minus 1 into p minus 3 sorry 2 into p minus 3 by 4 factorial into delta power 4 y naught okay so in this you have to find or you have to substitute all these values y naught is what you know y naught is a 250 okay i'll just write it here p we know that is nothing but 1.5 and delta y naught we know first difference so that is nothing but what 20 okay now rest all the same terms delta square y naught is minus 20 okay delta cube y naught is minus 10 
and delta power 4 y naught is 20 rest all you have to substitute okay and find the answer so the answer is nothing but y is equal to we'll get it as 424 okay approximately 424 so we know that why we are finding for the below 70 this is what below 70 how many people are there below 70 or getting the wages below 70 rupees below 70 we know 424 so we need to subtract by below 60 that is 370 below 70 minus below 60 that will give you the answer that is 54 so basically 54 so basically this is nothing but what thousand fifty four thousand people okay since it was given in the question itself that is it indicates y values are in thousands so fifty four thousands okay that's it